Accept Bitcoin payments from your customers. If you do online sales on local store or you need to invoice customers, BTC Pay allow you to securely receive Bitcoin on your wallet without fees or third parties. Let's have a look at what BTC Pay has to offer us. If you open it for the first time, you will have to create a new store. Let's name it LSTO BTC. You can choose the currency. You might wonder, but we want to accept Bitcoin. Why do we need to define a currency? It's because it will automatically convert it to Bitcoin. So if you decide that your currency is US dollars or Euro, and it's more convenient for your business, then you can use it, invoice in your currency, and then it will automatically create invoices with the right amount in Bitcoin. Let's take USD and you can choose the preferred price source. So it's where the conversion will be done. So you have a list of conversion sources. You choose it and it will apply that current conversion rate. Okay, hit create store. Once you created your store, the next step is to set up a wallet so you can receive payment in Bitcoin, but also do payout. Click on set up a wallet. You have the choice, either you can connect an existing wallet. So for example, you have a ledger, you can plug it into your BTC Pay server, or you can create a new wallet. It's what we will do together for the lack of simplicity. Create a new wallet. You have two options, either a hot wallet or a watch only wallet. The difference is that with a hot wallet, your server is able to do everything with it, but uh, your private keys are stored into your server. So it can be risky if your server is unsecure. Or you can use a watch only wallet, but you will need to secure your private keys yourself. Let's use a hot wallet for now. Then we can choose the address type. We will keep the default settings and hit create. If you are familiar with wallet and cryptos in general, you will be familiar with this. So it's your recovery phrase to secure your private keys. I highly recommend you to store it offline and to have maybe it separated in the six first somewhere and the six last elsewhere. When you confirm that you have done it, which is false for me right now, click here and hit done. Now it's done, you're ready to receive Bitcoin into your BTCP server. But be careful, when you will install it for the first time on LSTO, before being able to create invoice and receive payment, it will require that all the nodes from the blockchain are fetched into your server. So it can take many hours, maybe 24 hours. Before jumping to receiving money, let's have a look at the settings we have. There are two types of settings. The store settings, so here we are on LSTO Bitcoin, but we can have multiple uh, stores into one server. So these are the store settings, but you also have the server settings that we will see just after. You have the name, the website, the URL, and some branding. So when you accept payment, at least your store represents the brand you are. Think of it like the Stripe dashboard, but for cryptos. You can go to rates, then it's what we configured earlier, the price source. You can add an exchange rate spread, but you can also test it to see what is the current value based on that source for any pair. So BTC USD, we hit test and we can see that for Kraken, the source we are using, one Bitcoin is $26,000. Uh, you can also change the checkout appearance, either the invoice settings or the checkout page. You have access to access tokens for API, for example, Shopify that we will see later. You can configure the users, but here it's for this specific store. So you also have roles, so people will have some access to some features and others won't. You can also have webhooks. It's very useful if you need to integrate it with other tools that you have. And finally, one of the most important, you can configure it to a payout processor so you can get back your Bitcoin on another wallet or on your bank account when you sell it and convert it. Let's also have a quick look at the server settings. It's almost the same, for example, users and roles. It's just uh, a level higher because they will have access to many stores. You can also configure uh, SMTP servers, though all the automatic emails will be sent using your SMTP server. You can define the policies. You can also customize the appearance of BTC Pay. So maybe you are using it as a white label for a customer. So you can create a custom theme and also add your own logo here. 
Okay, now let's jump to the payment section. We can go to invoices and we will create an invoice. This is one of the different ways to accept payment by directly creating an invoice. You say, I want 100 US dollar, or you can also choose a crypto, so BTC. But this and the amount will be too big. So let's say I want 100 euro. You choose your order ID. Maybe it's your invoice system in your company. The item description, development service, the supported transaction currencies. We'll choose Bitcoin on chain. We don't have the choice here, but maybe by using other plugins, you can support other way of transaction. You can specify the buyer email, but it's optional and you can hit create. It automatically created an invoice with all the information that interests you. At the moment I created the invoice, one Bitcoin was 24,000 euros. I can click on checkout and require the payment from someone. I won't do it here, so let's go back. Once it's done, you can see all the events here, or you can see on the dashboard all the payment that have been done, the balance of your wallet and the recent transaction. Here we can just see that we have an invoice that has been created. You are not forced to create directly invoice to request payment. You can go to request and just create a request for a payment and add some information about what it is. This is for the more direct approach when you want to accept payment in Bitcoin. So it's perfect for your customers that you send invoice to. But let's say you have an online store, for example, on Shopify, there is a plugin you can enable and directly accept payment on your Shopify with Bitcoin through BTC Pay. To configure your Shopify, you have to follow the instructions from the documentation. It's available here. I will put you the link in the description of the video. I highly recommend you, as always on every open source software I present you, to have a look through the documentation. It's well written and it will help you understand the core features that BTC Pay server provides. If you want to start accepting payment with BTC Pay, go to ls.io, hit login. You can see there is already my running server. Hit create a new service if you already have one. And then in the service list, search for BTC Pay, select, then choose your cloud provider. I will choose Scaleway. You can choose the region, then the service plan and hit next. Choose your level of support and create service. I have received the email telling me that my instance is ready. I go here into my instance. The first time you arrive, you will need to create your account, enter your email address, a secure password and hit create account. Then, as I showed you earlier, create your store, choose your currency, and you're ready to go. Then on the bottom right, you will see that your nodes are syncing. When it will be totally fetched, the entire blockchain, you will be able to receive payments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will give a try to BTC Pay. Tell us in the comment if there is any open source software you are looking for and we can help you find it or if it's already existing on our platform. If you want to continue discovering great free tools, please watch this video available here.